Hi guys and welcome back for a brand new video. If you are new around here then hi I'm Hazel and I have, I say recently moved house, it's not that recent now, it was last October but I've moved house and ever since me and my boyfriend have been just kind of renovating the house, updating it, just modernising it and I have been taking you guys along with me to share with you all the changes that we've been making. So this video is just going to be a little updated video just to discuss our future plan to the house, some bits and pieces I've been buying as well. So it's just a little bit of a random one but just to kind of update you with where we're at because I haven't shared with you what we're doing for some time. So before I get into the first updates I want to give a shout out to Cricut. So if you guys don't know what Cricut is this is one of their beautiful machines. This is the Explore 3 and they've actually really kindly sponsored this video. This is an amazing cutting tool so I'm going to be getting creative in this video and decorating some things in the house. I really want to decorate this little tin um, to put some coffee in and things like that. With the device you can cut iron on, you can cut vinyl, you can cut glitter paper, there's so many things you can do. It's such a cool little device to have fun projects around the house. You could use it with your children. You can use it yourself to get creative in your kitchen, in your house as well. So I will sit down with you guys in a little bit and show you the device in more detail and show you the things I'm going to be making with it and what I've made already. And um, what I'm going to do first off is take you upstairs and just show you my ideas for one of the bedrooms and just do like a little mini haul as well. Before we get into it guys, I do have a bit of a cold. So yeah, apologies in advance if I sound a little bit like blocked up. It's just the way it is and I really wanted to get this video up for you before things start happening because we are going to be changing this bedroom up really soon so I thought it was best to just get this video up quickly before um I've left you too long like without showing you things so this bedroom I'm about to show you is the guest bedroom now it is an absolute dumping ground I was going to tidy it up and I thought you know what I'm just going to be real and show you what it actually looks like at the minute but yeah I don't know if you guys will remember this room it was very girly very pink I didn't actually do a before shot, so I will include a picture here of what it looked like beforehand. Um, but yeah, this was very much like a creamy, pinky sort of room when we first moved it in. Because I just used stuff I had from my old flat, I really want this room to be creams and kind of greys and pops of black because I really wanted to add pops of black into a room in the house. And I've been saying it for such a long time and I haven't done it yet. So I have started. <laughs> this is the current state of the room. Like everything's dumped on the bed. So it's very much a work in progress. But the first things I bought, which I was actually going to film putting them together, but Jordan kindly put them together for me whilst I was in London last week. Um, but these stunning bedside units, so they're lovely black bedside units. They're really well made, great quality. And I got these off Amazon. I love the brush gold handles as well. I wanted some pops of gold in this room, but I didn't want it to be too like in your face gold. So I love that these are worn and a little bit used and i also love this detail that goes around the edge of them i did actually get inspo from my friend laura for these um because yeah she's already got them and i thought oh my god like where'd you get them from so i did copy her with those and i'm going to take full credit for those um but yeah we've got one of those either side of the bed and i really want to get a lovely lampshade each side that matches so let me know in the comments if you've got any recommendations for nice lampshades that have black detail on them like black and cream lampshades i think that would be really nice for this room and then, let me just turn the light on, it's very dull in here. And these were £144 for two. And then I picked up this baby from B&M. This is only £20. It's got the gold legs, which matches the room and the colour that I'm going for. It's this lovely velvet black footstool. And I wasn't really sure if it was needed in this room, but we used to have this pink one in the room which will be going. I, it's so funny how your taste changes because I absolutely detest this now. And these are my old lampshades, which again will be going. Probably going to sell them too on Facebook. And this is not selling worthy because it's all broken, but maybe I'll give it away for free. Um, but anyway, this is going to be the new little footstool to go in here. I think it's just a really cute, nice size and it can just go in the corner and it just adds a little something, something to the room, doesn't it? And then the thing I'm really excited about, and yes, I've got my pajama bottoms on. The thing I'm really excited about is this mirror. So ignore this. This is the old mirror that I had in here because I used to have a dressing table underneath. But this is my new mirror from Dunelm. I got this for £80 in the sale. It's still available at the minute, so definitely check it out. It's called the Lena Apartment Mirror. They also do this one in an arch design as well. Um, but I love this. It's not the tallest. I'm five foot three, and you'll see it's shorter than me. <laughs> But it's a really nice size and actually if I wanted to get like a full outfit shot in here, I definitely can. But this isn't the biggest bedroom, so I feel like, again, it's so hard to visualise when it's such a dumping ground. But when this is all pretty and looks good, that is just going to add lots of light and makes the room appear bigger. Because mirrors are always a trick to just make the room 
appear a lot more spacious. I'm also going to add pops of books in here. So I've got a Chanel black book here and I've also got a Tom Ford one downstairs, which I'm going to use in here as well. Then onto the cushions I'm going to have on this bed. So I've got these two cushions. So these ones I actually got in Primark. They're a lovely cream. They're very similar to this, which is from H&M. But these are lovely cream cushions. And I think these were only five or six pounds each. So super inexpensive from Primark. Um, they're lovely velvet and really soft. So I'm very excited about that because I wanted to bring the cream in. This headboard is kind of like in between gray and cream. So I feel like that will work really nicely. And then my favorite cushion covers are these ones from H&M. Um, they still sell these at the minute. They also do a dressing gown in the same design as well. And towels is such a beautiful cushion. I got two of these and I thought that with the cream it would go really nice together. I just need to buy the inserts for these at the minute. But these I think were 15 pounds each. So quite expensive, but the quality is insane. And I just love them guys. I'm really, really happy with them. And I think them with the bedside units, the mirror, it's just all gonna tie together so nicely. And I just think it's gonna work really well. So I am really chuffed with these. So that is basically everything for the spare bedroom. Now that is literally currently a work in progress. So I'm thinking about painting the walls potentially, which I'll have a think about and decide. And if I do, I'll let you know, but that will be the next project. So I will be just sprucing that up and there'll of course be another vlog on it. And also um, like a room tour as well once it's done. So I'm really excited about that and share that with you. What I'm gonna do now is share with you the Cricut device and what it can do and what I'm gonna be making with it as well. Just because I think, if you are designing a room, this Cricut machine is amazing for that. Basically, if you had a kid's room, for example, and you wanted to do a personalized logo on the wall, or you can use this device for that, which I think is amazing. If you wanted to add cute things to mugs or presents for someone, this honestly, the possibilities of this really are endless. So I thought it would work perfectly for this video because you can personalize things for your house, but you can also personalize things for your friends and loved ones as well without breaking the bank every single time you want to do it. You can actually invest into this piece and then reuse it time and time again to create amazing things for birthdays and for any home lovers, you can personalize some amazing things for them as well. So let's get into it. So I'll insert some footage of me using the device. So you'll see that I'm using the smart materials which is super easy to put into the machine and then literally you can load the app up on your phone, pick a design so you can either get really really creative and create your own design from scratch or you can use one of their pre-made designs. So there's so many projects that you can go from, like I say, from designing your own mugs to designing things for the walls, designing labels. The possibilities really are endless with the Cricut 3 machine. So I'm just gonna start by using the cutting feature on the machine because I am a beginner and I'm still learning, although it is super easy to use. But the machine actually can also score, it can draw and it can foil too. So there's so many different features that this has. I can't stress how easy it actually was when I first got this machine because I opened it and I was like, oh God, this seems a bit overwhelming but actually it was so quick to set up I literally downloaded the app on my phone it took minutes to set up and then I was actually starting my first project already so the first project I did was I made some labels for my kitchen I love labels I love designing things and I actually went straight in and designed them myself so I picked the font that I wanted to use and I picked the color of the smart material that I wanted to use as well so I went for a black just because I thought that looked really nice against the glass containers and then yeah this is how they turned out and then the next project that I've been working on today is creating a really cute little coffee tin just because I wanted something that looked pretty that I could pop on the side. This is again something perfect if you're making someone a hamper for their birthday and you wanted to make it really personalized. You could even add their name onto this as well. So this is how it turned out. It was super easy. As you can see, I used the transfer paper to transfer the design straight onto the coffee tin. And yeah, it literally took minutes to do this guys. And it's so fun. Once you get started, you could literally spend all day using this. And there are so many different colors you can pick from. You can use glitter. I've got a lovely silver and gold as well that I can use, which is gonna be so fun. Next up, I think I wanna create some cute notepads because again, I feel like that'd be a perfect gift for someone. And just something that I can have around the house, which is really personalized to me. I am actually gonna be redoing my bathroom this year, which is another thing I really want to talk to you guys about and when I do I want to create some personalized things in the bathroom so I could create lotion bottles and I could create shampoo bottles and again pick my own font my own colors and make it completely tailored to me as a person which is so fun because I love interior I love creating things it's just the ultimate like creation machine it's just it's hard to explain but it's so fun guys so I'm going to leave all the information in the description box down below if you want to check it out I highly recommend this if you're someone that's creative if you want to get making things for your house for your family for your friends and if you have little ones as well I think this is going to be such a fun thing that you can do with them supervised too
thank you so much to Cricut for sponsoring this part of the video. It's been so fun to work with you and just learn about your product, really. So, guys, that is that. And I mentioned the bathroom, so that is going to be the next thing I'm going to talk to you about. So, I am going to insert a picture here of what the bathroom looked like when we first got the house. So, I'm not going to go up there now just because it's just... We've got a load of problems with the bathroom, so we keep getting damp on the wall. Um, so there's mould that keeps coming back on the wall. So yeah, it's just not a pretty state in the minute. I will reveal when we do the bathroom transformation. But we've booked in to have our bathroom done in March. So it's being done really, really soon. And I wanted to talk to you about our plans for the bathroom. Um, it's going to be kind of hard. You're going to have to try and use your, you know, visualising caps here. But I'm going to show you some pictures as well. So at the minute, as you would have seen, the bathroom has a bath and a shower. So we're actually going to look to take out the shower and just have a bath with a shower, like the glass panel, if that makes sense. Because the bathroom is just so cramped at the minute and we do have an ensuite with a shower. So it just makes more sense to have a really luxurious, chilled bathroom. I have baths every single day, way more than showers. And yeah, I just want it to be a nice, tranquil, chilled environment, which at the minute, I just don't feel like it is. Okay, so I've just got the plans up. By the way, I really hope the camera isn't too shaky, guys. I need to figure out the settings on this camera. But first off, I was considering getting one of these baths. You know, the ones that kind of like, you know, the egg... I don't know what they're called, like egg baths? I don't know what they're called. Anyway, I do really like them, but the more we thought about it, we just thought it's probably not utilising the space properly. And with a shower going over the top, that's going to be quite difficult. So what we're going to do is have a bath like this one, as you can see, and we're going to have the side of the bath with tiles on it. So I just think that is going to look amazing. So the side of the bath and the floor are going to be the same colour, and then the walls are all going to be a different colour. So I'm thinking up the side of the bath, and on the floor to have a white marble, not literal marble, but you know, marble design tiles. And then on the walls, just have a really light gray. Now I am kind of going off grays, you know, I'm kind of leaning more towards grays and just some a bit more warmer tones, but I do feel like a gray bathroom is something that's never really gonna go out of fashion. It's easy to style and things like that. So I think we are just gonna go for a gray bathroom. Nowhere near as dark as this one though, like a nice gr light gray. And then above the bath, the thing that I just thought, wow, that's gonna look amazing these three so i think they're called alcoves potentially i might be getting this wrong but we want three cut out assuming they're called alcoves in the bathroom and you can see the lights above at the top we also want them as well and then inside the alcoves you're going to have mirror just to make the room appear big and just look really luxurious and then we're going to have the silver chrome trim around the edges again i don't know if you can really see that but that is what we're aiming for with that i just think that's going to really finish it off and look really pretty and then for our sink have i got a picture of the sort of sink we want i'm not sure but one of the things i really really want is one of these led mirrors so i just think these look amazing they're great for lighting they're great for adding light to your bathroom and just looking just looking fabulous darling so we would like one of these big mirrors um, as well in the bathroom. I think that would look really, really cute. For the toilet, we want to go for this toilet. So this is one of the modern toilets. I never thought I would be literally Googling toilets, but yeah, this is the toilet we want to go for. Just sleek, modern, easy to keep clean, and I think it just goes with the vibe of the bathroom. And then we want this sort... I say we, I've basically picked everything out, but this is the sort of sink that we want to have. So one of these rectangular sinks with the kind of like flat tap at the top, and then the hanging unit as well underneath. Now, I'm not sure what colour the unit will be. I think I probably will go for grey, because I have looked at the white ones but I'm not sure if it will really work and this one you can kind of see it's like a concrete sort of effect I really love that and it's just going to keep the bathroom really easy to just manage and organize because the, at the minute the bathroom just there's not a lot of storage in there and I just feel like it's a mess all the time and there's so much that needs changing honestly once we start the process I will fully show you the bathroom and just how so many things about it need ripping out and literally that it's going to have a complete transformation but yeah the bathroom is I think that's basically kind of everything that I was going to show you obviously there's more to it but I'll wait for you to see you know when it starts getting done but I'm super super excited about that it's just the thing upstairs which kind of lets the house down a little bit just because like I say it's always getting moldy it's just a little bit dated it just needs a complete refresh and I'm very excited about that guys and I can't wait to take you along with us on the journey of getting the bathroom done. I feel like it's the biggest thing we're going to have done in this house which you know we're paying out for because so much of what we've done in this house we've done ourselves. Um, I mean that's not true we've had like the doors done the floor done and everything but we've done a lot of the work ourselves so yeah it's going to be the biggest like lump sum of money we're spending in one go so far. Um, I'm a little bit nervous about it but I'm really excited as well. 
And then the living room. So this, sorry that the curtains are shut, it's just so bright when I was sitting there. But yeah, this is the current living room. You guys will have seen this quite a few times. We've recently had it painted, as you would have known from previous vlogs. Um, I also recently popped, well, I say I recently, I got the electrician round to pop these lights up. So beforehand, we had these really big lights and they just were very obstructive, especially when you're watching the TV and I just didn't like them. So I got these lights from the range. I really, really like them. They're a mirror plate underneath. And they're almost like donutty sort of lights. And they just, they stay out the way. They're really lovely. And yeah, the only thing is, I'm not sure if the wall lights anymore match those. I think it's just a little bit, I don't know, I feel like they clash a little bit. But yeah, this is the living room. And as you would have known, we used to have an L sofa. We've now, I need to puff it up, so please ignore that. But yeah, we now have just changed it into a long sofa because I just felt like the L just really obstructed the doors over there. My plans for this room, because there's literally nothing going on. It's the most boring bare room of the house. Oh, we do also have a new rug, which is from The Range. It's like a white fluffy rug as well, which Lola loves. Lola, hey. She's ignoring me. Um, but what I would like to change this year in this room is these curtains. So for one, they're not black out. They're just very, very see-through. And I'm just a bit bored of them. They've kind of like, the quality isn't great. They've gone bobbly very quickly, as you can see. And they're just a little bit too gray for me. I don't want this room to be so gray. I want to add in some more creams and beigey tones. And yeah, I would really like to change these curtains just to something probably without a pattern, just plain curtains. And I potentially would want to change the curtain pole as well. I'm very picky with things, but I just don't like the curtain pole. It's silver and... I don't know, I just, I don't like these big chunky bits in the middle. I would just, yeah, we quite like to change that really. And ignore this. This is my little setup at the minute whilst I'm using my Cricut machine. Um, but this was actually upstairs in the guest bedroom and that's gonna be sold soon on Facebook Marketplace. And we need something to go here. And I'd love for you guys to put in the comments what you think we should do. Because, I mean, we could put this chair back there and have a unit in this bit here but we're just not sure what to do with this room i feel like it's really hard because it is a big living room and it's very empty at the minute so we just need something i was thinking about having like a console table maybe this side or a big unit this side a sideboard and then having some prints above it and just styling it really nice because there's nothing on the walls in here it's just boring so yeah we need better storage for lola's um toys as well because they're just like always just a well, they look fine, but you know, I'd like to get a bigger basket for her toys because she's just got so many toys. But yeah, that is kind of the state of the living room at the minute. And then the dining room is an absolute mess at the minute. The, the cross trainer's in here just because it's really cold in the garage. So we thought we'll have the cross trainer in here um, until the summer. But we've taken off some wall lights in here. So we need to fill these holes in. They were basically these crystal ones before. I don't know if you remember. And they were just... I hated them so we've got rid of them all lights not gonna have any more put back in we're thinking about painting this room the same color as the living room but let me know what you think this is dulux nutmeg white so do we go with nutmeg white or do we go with farrow and bull skimming stone which is this kind of like warmer slightly darker tone if you can see that um but it's really hard to decide but yeah this room really needs doing it's absolutely a dumping ground look like we don't even really eat in here there's just stuff always on the table just because it needs doing so yeah i'm just showing you the actual real state of the house this is it it's not pretty and it needs sorting and honestly these swatches have been on the wall now for months and it's still not been done but it's something we're going to do very very soon literally in the next few weeks so yeah let me know if you have any ideas for this room i think we might change the dining table back around to the middle because it's just obviously once this is gone because it's just kind of like shoved in the corner and although it's a lovely big room like it's not being used but i don't know we've got this lovely new rug as well this new rug is from b and m it was 40 pounds it's so soft i absolutely love it lola loves it too my dog she always just sleeps on it and just yeah it's so nice for her but yeah that is basically our little updates from the house and what we're planning on doing and like the changes we've got so sorry if this vlog hasn't been like the most exciting because obviously i haven't actually shown you many updates it's been kind of like a whole sort of vlog and just ideas but yeah these are the ideas we have and things we're going to be working on literally in the next few months so i am excited to share with you the progress on them and like i say i would love your input in the comments anything that you recommend we do to the living room the dining room even the bedroom as well because it is hard making these decisions um I feel like I don't order things anymore unless I really like them so I do struggle sometimes and I just kind of like procrastinate and don't do anything about it because for example I cannot find a sideboard I like so I just end up not buying one for the living room because 
I just can't decide what color to go for or what style to go for and then I just end up giving up on the idea so yeah I would love your input if you have any ideas guys but thank you so much for watching and I will see you really soon the next video will probably be the um bedroom transformation which will be happening like I say in the next couple weeks so keep your eyes peeled for that subscribe if you're new around here and you love home improvement videos and I'll see you really soon Mwah. bye guys